Hi, welcome to another video on data science. What is the best way to explore the data quick? I think it's visualization. And what is the best way to visualize the data quick? I think it's Data Explorer package, because it can visualize all your data in seconds using only one function. Check this out. Create report function will produce, save and open an HTML document in your web browser with visualization of all your data. Moreover, we can determine a single most important variable in our dataset and let the report display the data in the light of this variable. Every report consists of several parts and always starts with a table of contents. Table of contents shows what exactly the exploratory analysis visualized. Namely, it first generally describes the dataset with row numbers and percentages, then visualizes missing values and every single univariate numeric or categorical variable, then explores multiple variables simultaneously by displaying correlations between them and conducting a principal component analysis. It finishes with box and scatter plots, which I find especially informative. Not bad for a single function, if you ask me. But should we then always produce the whole report? Of course not. Conveniently, every part of the report can be produced separately. Let's have a look at this. Here we can see the basic overview of Diamond's data in absolute numbers. First, we see the number of rows and columns. Then we see how many numerical or categorical variables do we have in our dataset and whether there are missing values or even missing columns. Such quick introduction into our dataset can be reached by the function introduce for absolute numbers or by the plot intro for percentages. One of the most useful functions from Data Explorer package, which I use almost daily, is plot missing. It not only shows how many percent of data is missing in every column, but also explains what the amount of missing values means for us, namely that missing around 25% of data is still kind of okay and we can continue working. Besides, it helps to quickly identify variables with missing values, if some models refuse to run because missing values are present. The best way to visualize categorical variables are bar plots. And the simple plot bar function visualizes all categorical variables from our dataset at once. And usually in my job, I see way too many of these small categories, which are then supposed to be thrown together. By the way, Data Explorer package can do this too and easily, but more about this later. Until then, we can go one step further as compared to the create report function and display the frequency distribution of our categorical variables by any other variable, be it numeric, for example, price, or discrete, for example, cut. One of the most powerful tools to summarize a large data set and to identify patterns and connections between variables is a correlation matrix. A correlation matrix is simply a cross table with correlation coefficients between all combinations of variables pairwisely. This table is at the same time a heat map with color coded correlation from the negative in blue to the positive in red. In practice, high correlation can be desirable, for example, where it may allow to predict one variable by the other. However, it may also be unwanted, for example, two highly correlated variables in a statistical model would screw up the results by providing the same information, like weight and body mass index. Thus, knowing correlation is always useful for developing better hypotheses. The distribution of numeric variables is usually explored by the means of histograms, density plots, quantile-quantile plots, and scatter plots. Well, that explorer package provides easy functions for each of them. Moreover, it allows to produce the quantile-quantile plots for every category of a discrete variable, which I personally find very useful since usual groups comparison, be it a t-test or ANOVA, requires checking the normality of every group and not just 
of the whole numeric variable. As you probably remember, the big picture from create report function does not include density and categorical quantile quantile plots, showing that it's worth to go beyond the general report. For instance, you immediately see that wind and temperature can be analyzed using parametric methods like ANOVA, while ozone would either need a non-parametric approach like cruz Wallis or would need to be transformed before modeling. Box plots beautifully show where the most of the data is, namely inside of the box, and whether variables have many outliers. Box plots are also useful for a quick comparison of distribution of several groups, samples or categories, because they visualize center, spread and range of every group. Thus, similarly to correlation analysis above, box plots are also helpful for developing new hypotheses. I actually love box plots so much that I already did three videos on box plots on this channel. Scatter plots are kind of self-explanatory. The goal of the principal component analysis is to reduce the number of variables in a dataset while preserving as much information from the original dataset as possible. Principal component analysis transforms larger datasets with a lot of variables, some of which might be highly correlated, into a smaller dataset with a few new variables, which are, by the way, the principal components, and are uncorrelated with each other. Transforming and cleaning your data is the next step after exploratory data analysis. Being able to make it quick and simple frees your time and brain capacity for the important creative work instead of solving problems. The best package for data manipulation is definitely DeepLayer. However, some other worth-to-know packages also provide very simple and useful ways. Data Explorer is a good example. For instance, if you have a lot of small categories in a variable, you can aggregate them into a single category, other. You just have to call the variable you're interested in and set the threshold for how many percent of your data is supposed to go into this other category. For instance, the variable clarity has four categories, all of which have less than 10% of observations. Cumulatively, or together, they add up to 20%. Thus, we can use 20% as a threshold and end up with only five big categories. Sometimes, especially in the machine learning field, it is useful to produce several dummy variables from one categorical variable. We can easily do this by calling a dummify function and specify the variable which needs to be dummified. Interestingly, if we don't specify any, all categorical variables will be transferred. There are, of course, more useful functions in Data Explorer package, and if you liked it so far, um, feel free to explore it by your own. In the conclusion, I can say that Data Explorer package allows us not only to quickly explore our data, but also helps to get initial insights and to generate new hypotheses. Moreover, it greatly simplifies the workflow, which we need to do anyway, saves time, reduces the probability of mistakes by coding everything manually and accelerates delivering final results. So that Explorer package alone would be enough for a reasonably good exploration of data, but there are of course many other useful packages for the exploratory data analysis. Thus, in the next video I'll present the best functions from different packages which will take your exploratory data analysis on the next level. But until then, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.